Hello everyone, welcome to all of you in my lecture today. So here in this lecture, I am going to discuss uh, the uh, parts of uh, numerical method for the engineering mathematics. So let's try to understand the topic. It's a very important topic. So here in this topic, I am going to discuss about the Picard's method and the Euler's forward and Euler's backward method. Okay, so uh, most frequently you will see the problem on this particular method. So first I am going to discuss here that is Picard's method for the successive approximation Picard's method of successive approximation so basically what i am trying to do in this lecture is i am trying to derive the thing so that i mean most of the time we used to forget the formula in the examination right so better to know all how these concepts has been derived so if by any means if you are able uh, not able to recognize the formula in the examination you will be able to try so just try to understand so here uh, you will be solving what for differential equation right so i mean previously there are different various methods of solving of differential equations are there but here in this methods uh, we'll be solving by the successive approximation so just i am assuming if the differential equation is of the kind of like uh, that is dy by dx uh, that is function of uh, that will be equals to xy right so this is the form of differential equation and if the initial condition is given that y is equals to y naught at x is equals to x naught this is the initial condition that will be given in the problem so i mean for solution of this differential equation this is first order differential equation so definitely you will need only one uh, boundary condition that is the initial condition here it is given for the solution of this differential equation right so if i try i try to solve this problem so can i write uh, that is y naught to y that is equals to integral function of x y dx and here it will be equals to x naught to x right x naught to x sorry uh, oh, some mistake uh, wait one second So basically here uh, what now you know what you can do here all uh, what I have written that is uh, dy and here you can integrate that is y naught to y that is equals to integral function of x y and here it will be in the form of dx and it will be x naught to x right so so here it will be equals to y minus y naught that is equals to this is function of x y so here you can write that is x naught to x f x y dx right so here you can write y is equals to y naught plus integral x naught to x f x y dx so this is the basic formula of uh, picard's method so here if you, I want to try to calculate these things for the ith iteration so I can write the formula is y i plus 1 that is equal to y naught plus x naught 2 x naught to x f x y i and that is dx right so this will be your formula for the Picard's method for the solution of this differential equation right this is very important formula that you need to remember so let's try to understand how will we solve your problem so if i am assuming the question is that uh, dy by dx that is equal to y minus x right and if your initial condition y at x is equal to 0 that is given as 2 so your y naught is equal to 2 and your x naught is equal to 0 that is our initial condition this problem is given so you'll have to apply 
Picard's method. So already I have discussed the basics derivations of the form. So here what I had discussed here in just uh, earlier that is dy by dx that is equals to function of x y. So here this function of x y is equals to y minus x. So can I write y i plus one that is equals to y naught plus x naught to x f x y i dx right i think up to this uh, uh, everything is clear so if i want to calculate y1 right so here y1 that is equal to what y naught plus that will be x naught to x f x y naught dx right so here y naught is given that is 2 and x naught is given that is 0 right so can I write y1 that is equal to 2 plus function of x y0 that is y0 minus x. So here it will be y0 is 2 and that will be equal to minus x dx. So x0 is 0 to x right. So here y1 uh, that is equal to 2 plus 2 x minus x square by right so here we have got the value of y1 right now if you want to do the next iteration so here what we have got y1 equals to 2 plus 2x minus x square by 2 2 plus 2x minus x square by 2 right so if you want to calculate y2 is equal to what y2 is equal to y0 plus x0 to x f x y1 dx so can i write y2 that is y0 y0 is given to plus here it will be x0 to x fx y that is equals to y1 minus x dx here right for the next iteration so y2 is equals to 2 plus here it will be x0 to x that is the integration sign and y0 value we have calculated already here so we can substitute 2 plus 2x minus x square by 2 minus x dx right so here i can write the value of y2 that is equal to 2 plus integration of uh, yeah 2 is uh, your 2x uh, because x naught is 0 so try to focus on the limit also plus x square minus x cube by 6 minus x square by 2 so here you will be getting y2 is equal to 2 plus 2x uh, x square by 2 minus x square by 2 that is equal to plus x square by 2 and that is minus x cube by 6 so you have calculated the value of y2 so again if for ith iteration already i have told you y i plus 1 is equal to y naught plus that is x naught to x here you can f x y i dx right so for every i f operation uh, i plus 1 f operation uh, you will have to substitute that previous of i f value but when we you talk about the picard's method where it fails where it fails so it's very important to understand where this method fails so uh, yeah, i mean uh, most of the time we feel obstacles uh, in while solving the numerical differential equation from the Picard's method is that one must be able to perform the integration that requires and uh, sometimes we get some complicated uh, imp uh, integration that is very difficult to integrate right so in that condition this uh, method fails okay so with that i would like to end this meeting so in the next lecture i will be discussing about the euler's forward and backward method okay Thank you. Thank you.